From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Isabel Rosales. Jason has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are ABC Action News Now headlines. A mass shooting at a Pensacola Naval base hits home. One of three victims grew up right here in St. Pete. Muhammad Haytham was a former Lakewood High School student that chose serving his country over playing college sports. Bravery is what he exemplified at the Naval base in Pensacola on Friday. Investigators say instead of running for cover, Muhammad ran toward the shooter trying to stop him. Former classmates of Muhammad are remembering him as a great student and a competitive athlete. They're sharing memories of his kindness, his positive nature, and his success running track at Lakewood High School in St. Pete. The school does expect to have grief counselors available on Monday. The search for a shooter enters its 48th hour on Friday. An attempted robber shot a Brinks truck driver and a good Samaritan. Hillsborough County deputies thought they might have had him quartered at an apartment complex, but the gunman got away. We're making calls to get any updates on this investigation. Jason, how are we looking out there? Pretty good, especially if you're a fan of warm weather. It was pretty chilly last week when we were waking up to frost out there, especially north of Interstate 4. And now this week, it's all about that warmth back into the picture. Low 80s for highs for your Monday. Winds now out of the south. We're also increasing humidity just a little bit. You won't really notice it Monday. You definitely will notice it Tuesday. By the way, our average high temperature sits around 73 and will be nearly 83 to 84 for our inland spots. Closer to the water because of those 69 degree water temperatures will be closer to that 80 degree mark. But everybody enjoys lots of sunshine to start the work week. Isabel? I'm loving it. Let's keep it for like the year. <laughs> well, don't forget you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device and remember to download our free ABC Action News app. Have a good one.